What's up everyone, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed the guitar loop. Uh, please do hit the subscribe button, the like button and drop comments to support the channel. I've got a lot of new music and some new competitions and a new sample pack on the way very soon. So do stay tuned for those. But for now, I'm just gonna break down the guitar chords that I was playing during the loop uh, and what I laid into it. I'll break down the notes that I played as well. So if you're a piano player or any other instrument and you wanna learn the theory behind it, it's just a straightforward song. It's a great little builder block for new music. So yeah, here it is. So this chord progression is in A minor and we're starting off on the A minor or the one chord. Uh, you might have noticed in my previous videos, if you've watched my tutorials, I usually don't play the bar chords like this. I'd much rather play it as a sort of stripped down 1-5-3 voicing. 1-5-3 because we're playing the 1, 5 and the 3 of the chord. It's just a simple A minor chord. So 1-5-3 being the A, E and the G. There's 5th fret, the A on the E string, 7th fret on the D, on A string, uh, mute the D, and then again 5th fret on the G. And you'll notice when I play this as well, firstly I'm playing all of these with my fingers, just plug in each individual note, and then also on this first chord I did a little hammer on, so it was, because we're going from the D to the E, D still being in the uh, A minor scale, so we can do that. That's the first chord, and we slide down to a G major. Again, one, five, three, playing the G, the D, and the B. So I'm playing third fret on the A, E string, fifth fret on the A string, mute and the D, and then fourth fret on the G. A minor, G. To a D minor, again doing a hammer on from the G to the A this time. Again, the G still being in the scale, so like that. 10th fret on the E string, 12th fret on the A string, mute in the D, and 10th fret on the G string. Play in the D, A, E. And that one slides down to a C major, so 8th fret on the E string, 10th fret on the A string, mute in the D, and 9th fret on the G string. That's the first pass round, A minor, G, D minor, C. Next pass round, I play the A minor again, hammering on, again to the G, and then rather than the two chords, I just uh, swap them for one, which is an F, and let that ring out longer. So I'm playing first fret on the E string, third fret on the A string, mute the D, and second fret on the G string, and I just let that ring out. And that's it really, simple chord progression, uh, and then on top of that again, I'm just layering uh, the same sort of chords, but an octave higher, so I was starting here on the A, playing the A minor, so 12th fret on the A string, uh, 14th fret on the D string, mute in the G, and 13th on the B. Down to a G, so 10th fret on the A string, 12 on the D, mute in the G, 12 on the B. Up to the D minor, this time it's 17th fret on the A, uh, 19th fret on the D, mute on the G, and 18th fret on the B. Down to the C, and then again on the next pass round it's uh, A minor, G, down to the F. So uh, that would be the 8th fret on the A, 10 on the D, mute on the G, 10 on the B. And the way I'm playing this finger style is playing all notes and then playing the five and the three like this. So and in the mix I actually recorded that twice just like so a pan one left, one right, giving it a little bit more space. Uh, but that is it for the guitar side of things. On top of that, I was just soloing with the A minor pentatonic blended a little bit of the A minor scale as well. And then the bass line was just playing the root notes with the uh, fifth. On a bass guitar, obviously. And that was it really, laid in a bit of drums uh, and some atmospheres, but it was just a simple little leap. Um, 
I really enjoy recording with the sort of one five three simple stripped down voicings. When you get too complex on the bass chord progression, it becomes more difficult to solo over and layer over as well. That would so yeah, that's why I often start simply later on. Uh, but yeah, overall this was just a simple little leap. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Uh, but yeah, see you next time.